Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you four treasure, treasure DIYs. I have just taken things that I had on hand and turned them into cute uh, decor pieces for your home and garden. So stay tuned for this. First DIY, I have this spool that it came with some nautical rope and I will use some jute twine as well. First I just take the ends away, I just ripping them off uh, because I will only use that middle section, that paper roll. I will also use some cardboard and I'm just tracing with my paper roll two circles because I will make two cute little planters. And now I have the sides and the bottom of my planter. I just clean off the edges a little bit. Take a sanding sponge and do that. And then it's time for the jute twine and I will wrap so I have a tiny bundle that could fit into the paper roll it's easier to wrap around my piece and I just um, hot glue it on the inside nothing on the outside no hot glue on the outside and then I'm just start wrapping like you see me do there, all the way around. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrifting, decorating, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. And here I'm almost done and when I am I just cut off the excess and then hot glue it on the inside again there and voila here are the two and now it's time to weave around them I done it in a previous video with a small little basket a box but now it's time for the planters and I decided to go for a thin macrame cord this time to get a more visual interest so I have these big needles and I start weaving three threads under three threads over all the way around and I do that four turns around my piece when the four laps are done I do the opposite where I was taking the, my thread under I take them now over the opposite you see what I do here And after I done the whole piece, it's time to do the bottom parts and I have some burlap that I will use. I just put hot glue on my cardboard and just put them on top of the burlap and then I start hot gluing the edges of my cardboard. And once done, I just take my scissors and cut off the excess and here you can see 
how it looks and here are the two pieces that I made this other one I just made in jute twine you could actually use these planters with a small glass just like that with no bottom or with the bottom or without the glass and just the bottom piece so you have options here but I will attach the bottom and I will do that just with some hot glue And here they are, my cute little planters, my twine planters with some succulents in them. But if you want to use a real succulents or real plants, you need to use that glass, your option. Tell me what you think. I think it's super cute. For my second DIY, I will use this uh, solar lamp that I bought for my garden, but it was dropped on the floor. It doesn't work anymore. So I will just use that upper ball there. And I have this glass ball that I will use that looks a bit like a flower, flower petals. And I start by painting the ball in a white acrylic, two coats on the out, just on the outside of um, the ball. Once dry, I have um, this golden color that my neighbor gave me. Thank you so much and i just uh, put something with my finger on the edges and i sort of dry brush it on the texture on the outside as well to get a little bit of um, interest some golden reflections I just went around a couple of times until I was happy with the result. This is such an easy DIY. Just an updated glass bowl and uh, a broken a light from the garden. And here it is sitting in my kitchen with a LED tea light in it. Can't use a real one, there's no air in there. Doesn't it look pretty? Like a little flower. For my third DIY, I will use this branch that I found in the woods lying on the ground and I will make a wind chime out of it. So the first thing I will do, I will cut it to size and I use my miter saw for that and uh, I start out with, um, uh, I don't know, around 10 centimeters, not even. And then I went slightly bigger with each of the other ones. So I ended up with seven tiny branches for my wind chime. Now it's time to drill a hole right through my branches. And I start off with a smaller drill bit and then I change up to the size that I wanted just to go a little bit easy on the branch and not crack it and once I done on one side I just may make it halfway through and then I just turn it and do the same thing on the other side like so 
and I made that with all of the branches to get that a little bit hollow sound and I have this riser that looks a bit Japanese and I already drilled a hole in the center of it and I will use that as the top of my wind chime and um, have the, the branches hanging from it you see what I mean there so I will start off by placing my branches so I know about where to drill the holes for the branches and here you can see the hole you can see it all the way through there but I um, did um, crack a few of them um, the drill bit got um, through on the side so I'm, now I'm taking some wood filler and just um, repair that and here I I'm drilling my seven holes around the top part of my wind chime like so and then it's time to drill a hole on the top part of each of the branches that's where I can put a thread through to make them dangle in the air so I do that with all of them Once the wood filler has dried I went over it with some colors some greenish black brown colors that would uh, resemble the branch a little bit made some spots here and there to make it look a more like a real branch than a branch with wood filler on and here is the center part of my wind chime that will just uh, make the sound it is um, a wooden wheel sort of that I have sprayed with a golden color and I also have some wooden beads that I sprayed as well in the same golden color and I am using a black nylon thread and I just put it through the wooden circle and a wooden bead on the bottom to stop it from sliding and I just tied a little knot that I secured with some hot glue and then pulled it through the middle hole in the upper part there so this is how it will look and I put some nylon on the branch as well tied a knot and just pull it through like so and it will look oops <laughs> it will look like that approximately so I do the same with the other ones just pull it through the branch and then tie a knot at the same height as the other ones like that once all are done I will start pulling them through the holes just starting with the smallest one and work my way up to the tallest one so it will be like a tiny spiral and as you can see I put some wooden beads 
in the center there as well and now I will just pull all the threads together on top like you see me do there pull them together look something like that once done and I just tied a knot on top there secured it with some hot glue and I'm done just cut off the excess there and I take some garden thread and I will tie it around a branch in the garden And here it is, hanging in my huge bonsai tree, looking cute. As I said, I don't know it will, if it will make a very uh, loud noise and I think that is a good thing because it might annoy the neighbours if it was a wind chime, that will make a lot of noise. I think it turned out cute though, fits right in. For my fourth and final DIY I have this Pringles tube that I will use together with some jute twine and turn into a rustic vase. So I start off by spray painting the whole thing with a matte black colour and I just needed one coat for this. And once dried, I take some hot glue and secure the jute twine. And then I will further secure it the first turn around my vase. I will secure it all the way with some hot glue and then I will just wrap it around the whole piece and on the bottom when I'm done I will secure the last row with hot glue as well. This is what I will do. This is a wooden skewer that I have weaved on the side there and I will do the same on the opposite side. Just weaving two over, two under, two over, two under, etc. all the way to the bottom. And it was quite tricky in certain places because I wrapped it a little tight but it will be secure once I pull it all the way through. And this is how it looks. And to finish the edges, I will put a nautical rope on the top and one on the bottom part. On the top there I will have lots of excess that I will secure with some jute twine and untangle and make into a very long tassel. If you like this video and videos just like this be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button for more inspirational videos. And here it is sitting in my kitchen beside my cute planters looking pretty with some tall grass in it. What do you think? Leave me a comment down below. Did you have a favourite? If you're up for more inspiration right this minute, be sure to hit that DIY playlist icon appearing on the screen right about here. Thank you so very much for watching. 
See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.